1986, the U.S. Chess Federation founded the Chess Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, in 2008, with the recession, the museum had to close. And that just happened to be the time where in July of 2008, the St. Louis Chess Club opened up. And immediately, all eyes were on St. Louis Chess. They started hosting the U.S. Championships and the Women's Championships, and it just kept growing and growing and growing. So the people that had been involved with the museum in Miami thought that this would be a perfect location for this museum, which was no longer open. So a 501c3 was started. The Singfields, with their generosity, provided the seed money to move the museum to St. Louis, and it just happened to be a building across the street from the club was for sale. It was renovated, the contents of the museum moved here, and we started building a museum here in St. Louis. The unique thing about the World Chess Hall of Fame as it is in St. Louis is that it's not just a chess hall of fame. We do all kinds of cultural programming here. We've got monthly music series, composer series. Our exhibitions don't just look at the great players of the game, but how chess is incorporated in every aspect of life. We do shows like chess and fashion, chess and science, chess and space, chess and beauty. And so you do not have to be a expert chess player or a chess historian to come here and enjoy the exhibitions, enjoy our programming, and learn something new. We show all different caliber of artists, and we've shown everything from Yoko Ono to the great photojournalist Harry Benson. One thing that I think is also so important to do is showcase local artists. Artists need uh, opportunities to really show the work that they've been putting their heart and soul in. That opportunity for artists at the Chess Hall of Fame who exhibited here, it's priceless. Being able to create so freely and with such a strong team is any artist's dream. The World Chess Hall of Fame really created sort of like a, a hub of a community of arts based around the idea and concept of chess. I feel as if it's brought a community together that might not otherwise interact. St. Louis is such a unique city. It has so many cultural institutions, and I think that we fit so well into that unique atmosphere here. Our attendance has been exploding in the last couple of years, and we are so proud of that. And in May this year, we welcomed our 100,000th visitor. We have people from all over the world coming to visit. We really are becoming a destination spot in St. Louis. Because of the vision of the Singfields and their constant support and the support of our amazing donors, it gives the staff so much opportunity to create unique and amazing programming. Whenever you are trying to add something meaningful to your community, it really takes an all-hands-on-deck kind of approach. When you really see what the impact of chess has, you see why it is so critical to have everybody's support. I am so looking forward to the next chapter of Chess in St. Louis, especially at the Hall of Fame with our exhibitions programming, our artistic programming, and getting new people to love the game of chess.